Gypsy Rhymes. Everybody across the land is coming to see the Animal Band. You're invited too, so come along and watch the Animal Band play their songs. Giraffe is on the drums, watch him drum a rocking beat. He makes the crowd all dance and move their rocking feet. On the guitar we've got Gorilla. Strum, strum, strumming away. Animal Band fans come from all around to see Gorilla play because everybody across the land is coming to see the Animal Band you're invited too so come along and watch the Animal Band play their songs Bear is on the bass guitar he's so funky and cool and when he plays the crowd all shout the Animal Band rules on the keyboard give it up for Kangaroo he loves to play real loud. He also loves to stage dive and hop right into the crowd. That's why everybody across the land is coming to see the Animal Band. You're invited too, so come along and watch the Animal Band play their songs. And we can't forget our singer, a hiss hiss hissing snake. All fans of the Animal Band Love the sweet sounds she makes. So throw your arms in the air and wave your hands for the awesome, amazing, astonishing animal band. Next time tell your friends to come along and watch the animal band play their super songs. It's time for Gypsy Ride. In a green, green forest, with trees so tall, lived a squirrel named Stevie, who wasn't serious at all. All day he would snooze, in his oak tree bed, while his friends all stored nuts for the winter ahead. Stevie! Hey Stevie! His friends would cry. Come and gather some nuts before winter arrives. But Stevie just yawned and said with a snap, I'll do all that later. For now, let me nap. As winter grew closer, snow started to fall. And Stevie grew hungry, but he had no nuts at all. He searched in his tree, hoping some luck would come. But he found nothing there, not even a crumb. He went to his friends' trees to see if they'd share, but they just shook their heads, for they had none to spare. Stevie, oh Stevie, they said with a frown. We warned you before, now you've let yourself down. Stevie went home with a tear in his eye. Oh, why didn't I listen? And he started to cry. I shouldn't have waited, why was I so rude? How will I last winter without any food? But Stevie was lucky. His friends all had heart. They'd saved nuts for Stevie, right from the start. They knocked on his door, and he answered with a smile. For right on his doorstep, nuts in a ginormous pile. He knew he'd been wrong, and promised to be. The most hard-working squirrel for next winter. You'll see. And from that year on, he worked hard with his friends gathering nuts for until winter's end. It's time for Gypsy Rhymes. Oh please, please will you let me get a cute and cuddly pet? If you say yes, I promise I'll be 
the goodest kid you'll ever see. Let's get a puppy. They're as cute as can be. With their little wagging tails and fur so fluffy. I promise to take them for walks every day. I'll teach them to sit and heal and stay. Or maybe a kitten's the right pet for me. I think they'd fit right into our family. So they feel at home, maybe we could buy a nice cat bed. Or maybe they could share mine with me instead. So please, please will you let me get a cute and cuddly pet? If you say yes, I promise I'll be the goodest kid you'll ever see. Can we get a parrot? They're really fun. Blue and yellow feathers? Yeah, that's the one. With enough training, instead of squawk, I think I could teach it how to talk. Okay, okay. How about a goldfish? Please, please, that's my biggest wish. They don't need training, walks or pats. They just swim around in their tank. And that is that. So please, please will you let me get a cute and cuddly pet? If you say yes, I promise I'll be the goodest kid you'll ever see. A pet lizard could be really great. I'd name him Larry and he'd be my best mate. And while I eat my dinner, Larry will eat bugs. Then we'll move to the sofa for some lizardy hugs. Okay, one more. And please don't laugh. But why don't we just get a pet giraffe? Although they're just a bit tall, so I have a feeling we might have to cut a hole in the ceiling. So please, please will you let me get a cute and cuddly pet? If you say yes, I promise I'll be the goodest kid you'll ever see. It's time for Jubsy Rhymes. Down by a river, next to a log, there lived a very forgetful frog. But whenever he forgot something on any given day, to help himself remember, he'd simply say, I'm a very forgetful froggy. My mind can get quite foggy, but with practice and a rhyme, I'll remember every time. And just like that, like some kind of magic trick, the very forgetful frog would remember really quick. He even forgot where his froggy hat was one time. But instead of getting upset, he just remembered his special rhyme. I'm a very forgetful froggy. My mind can get quite foggy. But with practice and a rhyme, I'll remember every time. And in a flash, just like that, Forgetful Frog found his froggy hat. And when he lost his froggy shoes, Forgetful Frog knew just what to do. I'm a very forgetful froggy. My mind can get quite foggy. But with practice and a rhyme, I'll remember every time. And just like that, what do you know? He found his froggy shoes and he was ready to go. And when Forgetful Frog forgot his froggy coat one day, he didn't panic at all. He knew just what to say. I'm a very forgetful froggy. My mind can get quite foggy. But with practice and a rhyme, I'll remember every time. And although our froggy is not one to gloat, you'll never guess what. He found his froggy coat. So the lesson here 
is if your mind ever feels foggy, maybe a rhyme will help you. Like our good friend, Forgetful Froggy. If you ever lose something, please don't panic, never fear. Just take a deep breath and maybe a rhyme will get you there. It's time for Jubsy Rhymes. Charlie the Chimp, a space hero, meeting monkeys and apes wherever he goes. Charlie the Chimp, flying through the galaxy. Who will he meet? Let's wait and see. Mercury was the first planet where Charlie stopped, and out of his spaceship he quickly hopped. There he met a gibbon called Jake who offered Charlie some freshly baked cake. Next, Charlie flew to Venus for a while and stepped on the planet with an enormous smile. There he was greeted by a baboon called Fred, who gave Charlie a place to rest his weary explorer head. Charlie the Chimp, a space hero, meeting monkeys and apes wherever he goes. Charlie the Chimp, flying through the galaxy. Who will he meet? Let's wait and see. Charlie the Chimp flew through the stars. His next stop was the planet Mars. There he met an orangutan called Lee, who treated Charlie to a cup of space tea. He flew to Jupiter, the biggest of all, and when he got there, he felt rather small, because there to meet him was a gorilla called James, who invited Charlie to play some spacey games. Charlie the Chimp, a space hero, meeting monkeys and apes wherever he goes. Charlie the Chimp, flying through the galaxy. Who will he meet? Let's wait and see. Next was Saturn with rings so bright. So Charlie flew at the speed of light. There he met a marmoset called Clyde, who invited him on a space motorcycle ride. Then off to Uranus so far away. And Charlie was just one planet away. On Uranus he met a howler monkey called Jim who said, get on your space trunks, we're going for a swim. Charlie the Chimp, a space hero, meeting monkeys and apes wherever he goes. Charlie the Chimp, flying through the galaxy. Who will he meet? Let's wait and see. With only Neptune left to roam, Charlie decided it was time to go home. After meeting so many new space friends on the way, he'd come back to Neptune another day. It's time for Jubsy Rhymes. I'm the tallest, said the ant on the ground. There's no one taller than me around. I'm the tallest, can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. Then a mouse came along and happily said, Mr. Ant, I'm taller than you by a head. I'm the tallest, can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. No, I'm the tallest, said the bird. There's not an animal taller, haven't you heard? I'm the tallest, can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. Sorry, bird, said a friendly cat. I'm taller than everyone, and that is that. I'm the tallest, can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. A dog overheard while walking down the path and said, I'm clearly the tallest, don't make me laugh. I'm the tallest, can't you see? 
There's no one on earth that's taller than me. Sheep arrived next and said, I'm here to tell you all, compared to me, you're really quite small. I'm the tallest. Can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. Out of nowhere came a gorilla and said, That's not true. I'm certainly taller than all of you. I'm the tallest. Can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. <clears throat> Pardon me, said a grizzly bear. But there's no question I'm the tallest here. I'm the tallest, can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. An elephant appeared and said, Mrs. Bear, can't you tell? I'm taller than you and heavier as well. I'm the tallest, can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. Oh, all of you animals really make me laugh. The tallest animal around is me, the giraffe. I'm the tallest. Can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. And when they all thought that was that, nothing left to see. The ant had an idea and climbed up the nearest tree. Look, now I'm the tallest. Can't you see? There's no one on earth that's taller than me. All the animals laughed and from down on the ground shouted three cheers for ant the tallest animal around it's time for gypsy rhymes i want to be a sea explorer and see what's down below i'd ask a friendly fish for directions and he'd tell me where to go I want to be a sea explorer and swim around the reef. I'd bump into a smiley shark with all her sharky teeth. I want to be a sea explorer and explore some underwater caves. Caves can be dark, but I'm not scared. I'm sea explorer brave. I want to be a sea explorer and join an octopus for tea. It must be strange trying to drink some tea under the sea. I want to be a sea explorer and do a jellyfish jiggle. I'd swim right up to my jellyfish mate and together we'd wobble and wiggle. I want to be a sea explorer and party with the crabs. We'd do the crab dance all day. Oh, how much fun we'd have. I want to be a sea explorer and ride on the back of a ray. We'd ride all through the ocean and stop to have a play. I want to be a sea explorer and meet a puffer fish most of all. When they feel in danger they can make themselves big and round just like a ball. I want to be a sea explorer but for now it's time for bed and if I can't get to the ocean I could always become a jungle explorer instead. It's time for Gypsy Rhymes. I want to be a jungle explorer and climb the tallest tree. When I get to the top, I'd make friends with some chimpanzees. I want to be a jungle explorer and find a tiger there. I'd count how many stripes he has across his tiger hair. I want to be a jungle explorer and spot a great macaw one day. I hear they can talk like humans and I wonder what they'd say. I want to be a jungle explorer and count a leopard spots. 97, 98, 99, 100 and more. Wow, that's really a lot. I want to be a jungle explorer and meet a sloth, you know. 
they live up high in the trees and move really, really slow. I want to be a jungle explorer and spot an anaconda. It's the biggest snake in the whole wide world. There isn't any longer. I want to be a jungle explorer and try to find a tree frog. I bet they'd be sitting on a giant leaf or on top of a log. I want to be a jungle explorer and make an orangutan friend. We'd swing through the trees and jump around. I'd never want it to end. I want to be a jungle explorer and meet a capybara for tea. I hear capybaras are really friendly. I'm sure they'd really like me. I want to be a jungle explorer. But for now, it's time for bed. And if I can't get to the jungle, I'll explore somewhere else instead. It's time for Jubsy Rhymes. It's Capybara's birthday party. Why don't you come? Everybody's dancing, laughing, having so much fun. It's Capybara's birthday party. Let's dance some more. Ring, ring. Who's at the door? The door opened and Chimp swung in. With a big friendly smile, he started to sing. Happy birthday, dear Capybara friend. Let the celebrations never end. Ring, ring, the doorbells chime. Animals arrive one at a time. Capybara's party filled with glee. Come join the fun and you will see. Next came a toucan, colorful and bright, with feathers that shimmered in the sunlight. Happy birthday, Capybara dear. Let's celebrate with laughter and cheer. Ring ring, the doorbells chime, animals arrive one at a time. Capybara's party filled with glee, come join the fun and you will see. A sloth arrived and slowly said, All the best for the year ahead. Happy birthday Capybara sweet, may your day be extra special. Here's a birthday treat. Ring ring, the doorbells chime. Animals arrive one at a time. Capybara's party, filled with glee. Come join the fun and you will see. Then came a parrot, squawking with delight. With colourful feathers, oh what a sight. Happy birthday, Capybara old friend. Let's dance and sing till the party ends. Ring, ring, the doorbells chime. Animals arrive one at a time. Capybara's party, filled with glee. Come join the fun and you will see. Finally, an elephant, tall and wise, with enormous tusks, he caught everyone's eyes. Happy birthday, Capybara mate. May this day be your best. And sorry I'm late. Ring, ring, the doorbells chime. Animals arrive one at a time. Capybara's party filled with glee. We join the fun, as you can see. The capybara smiled. His heart was glad. Because of the amazing birthday he'd had. They laughed, they danced and sung together. Making memories they keep forever. And so the party came to an end. Capybara said goodbye to all of his friends. But the fun was over, one thing was clear, he'd throw an even bigger party next year. It's time for Jubsy Rhymes. Tiny and cuddly and cute as can be, baby animals for us to see. Let's say this rhyme, just me and you about these lovely baby animals, fresh and new. Baby animals oh so sweet, 
tiny paws and little feet, with furry coats and eyes so bright, they bring us joy and pure delight. In a meadow where flowers grow, a baby bunny hops, just look at her go. With floppy ears and fur so pale, she wiggles her nose and shakes her tail. Baby animals, oh so sweet, tiny paws and little feet, with furry coats and eyes so bright, they bring us joy and pure delight. In the treetops, nestled up high, a baby bird sings, ready to fly. With feathers soft and colours divine, it spreads its wings like stars that shine. Baby animals, oh so sweet, tiny paws and little feet, with furry coats and eyes so bright, they bring us joy and pure delight. Down by the river, a baby duck splashes and paddles and runs amuck. With fluffy feathers, yellow and bright, it quacks and waddles with pure delight. Baby animals, oh so sweet, tiny paws and little feet, with furry coats and eyes so bright, they bring us joy and pure delight. On the farm, in a cosy stall, a baby lamb skips, having a ball. With woolly fleece, so soft and warm, it cuddles its mother, safe from harm. So let's celebrate these darlings small, embrace their wonder, one and all. The baby animals bring so much delight, bringing smiles both day and night. It's time for Gypsy Rhymes. Grab your basket and let's go, quick, to the greatest ever animal picnic. Everyone's bringing food and drinks to share. I wonder which animals are going to be there. Look, there's Connor the cat and he's brought some cakes. He wants to show us how well he bakes. They look so tasty, a delicious treat. He's baked enough for us all to eat. Here comes Dolly the duck with some freshly squeezed juice and right behind is Gus the goose. Gus is carrying cups so we can all have a drink. Fresh juice is perfect for a picnic I think. So grab your basket and let's go quick to the greatest ever animal picnic. Everyone's bringing food and drinks to share. I wonder which animals are going to be there. It's Harriet the Hen. She's lots of fun and has made some sandwiches for everyone. So many to choose from, like cucumber and cheese. I think I'll take one with jam in, please. Darla the dog is on her way and she's bringing lots of watermelon on this sunny picnic day. Cut into triangles and neatly packed, juicy and sweet the perfect picnic snack. So grab your basket and let's go, quick, to the greatest ever animal picnic. Everyone's bringing food and drinks to share. I wonder which animals are going to be there. Paris the pig has brought potato chips with pots of lots of yummy dips. Better grab a handful before they all go because everyone loves potato chips, don't you know? Hamish the horse will be here in a bit, bringing an extra blanket for us to sit. So even though some picnic friends are big and some are small, there'll still be enough comfy space for us all. So grab your basket and let's go, quick, to the greatest ever animal picnic. Everyone's bringing food and drinks to share. I wonder which animals are going to be there. The picnic started and everyone was there. 
There was happiness and fun and lots of laughter in the air. The animal picnic party was so much fun. We can't wait to see you at the next one. It's time for Gypsy Rhymes. Far, far away by the River Nile there lived a croc with the friendliest smile with eyes so bright and a toothy grin he wondered if somewhere was a friend for him but poor crocodile even though he was good his sharp toothy smile made him misunderstood his smile was wide and friendly from ear to ear but the sight of his teeth made the other animals scared. I wish everyone knew, even though my teeth are scary. There's no need to fear, no need to be wary. I'm just a very friendly crocodile. Won't someone stop and talk a while? Then, one day, a little bird ventured near. Her heart filled with courage, not one ounce of fear. She said, Dear crocodile, please don't be sad. I can tell from your smile that you're really not bad. The crocodile blinked, surprised and pleased. His heart warmed up. His worries eased. He danced with joy, his tail wagging free, knowing that one bird's kindness could change what others see. So children, remember this tale so true. Don't judge by looks, but by actions too. But even a crocodile with teeth so sharp can be kind and friendly with a very warm heart. Now, when you see someone different or new, remember the lesson, it's important, it's true. Be nice to everyone and say a kind word, just like the crocodile and the very friendly bird. Far, far away, by the River Nile, there lived a croc with the friendliest smile and thanks to one bird he learned that day that a little bit of kindness can go a very long way.